Are we doing reprocessing? Yes, of yes. course. Because that's the basis of our approach to thorium. The three-stage nuclear power program which Dr. Baba has started. This is at the base. So for us, spent fuel is not a waste. For us, spent fuel is a resource. Is an asset. So, so sir, uh, for illiterate people like me, uh, what is the three-stage process? Three stages, uh, see, India's nuclear resource endowment is uh, modest, or I would say was, because now we have found much more uranium, but was modest quantities of uranium, but vast resources of thorium. And uh, so our objective is ultimately, I'm not talking about net zero, but you know, mankind will live for long, so we have to have energy. So ultimately, we have to be able to extract energy out of thorium on a very large scale. Now that, to, to be able to do that, as I said, we have to go through, because you can't begin a reactor with thorium, it has no fissile content. So to begin with uranium, and then as I said earlier, go through fast reactor and... So fast so reactor is, is the stage. same as fast breeder reactor, fast isn't it? Breeder reactor. So, how, so how, uranium how, reactor stage 1, fast breeder reactor stage 2, thorium reactor stage 3. So it's like extraction juice, ext extracting juice from the same orange thrice yes. or the same sugarcane thrice. Yes. So first you do it with sugarcane full of juice, that's uranium. So you take it out, then you take it to fast breeder reactor which squeezes it more and then you take it to a pressurized heavy water reactor. Uh, Sorry, uh, no. Thorium reactor. Th thorium say. reactor, yes. The thorium reactor, again, there could be variations, the, but, but let's not go into that detail. Yes, right yes. Now. But so, so we, our, our whole indigenous design is pressurized heavy water reactor. Yes, that is the first stage. First stage. First stage. For uranium. For uranium. For uranium. And then we go. Yeah. So, uh, so what I was telling was that uh, we are pursuing this three-stage program in which reprocessing is an important So we are not thing. throwing away spent fuel. We are throwing away nothing. Nothing. So against, let's say, if you talk about typically one ton of waste, which arises as a result of first stage or as a result of, let's say, a country which does not adopt reprocessing. So there is one ton waste. So for them, they have to deal with one ton waste. In India, we will reprocess that one ton waste and uh, around 95 to 98 percent is uranium and plutonium, which will all recycle. So my waste has become just 2 percent to 5 percent. Now out of this 2 percent or 5 percent, uh, of course we have shrunk that much, but we have now developed technologies in India where you can separate, you can separate long-lived fission products, you can separate these actinides, and if you take them away, then uh, the rest of the waste, its half-life, instead of uh, thousands and tens of thousands of years, it will reduce to a few hundred years. Okay, now that is what I can put them in a repository, and 300 years uh, is comparable to institutional life. So uh, while I'm keeping it under institutional control, all that material uh, will decay down. And I can say that uh, in that institutional life, 200, 300, 400 years, its toxicity should come back comparable to, for example, a uranium mine, which has been existing in nature. So according to me, the when people talk about waste problem, it is that the mindset of uh, don't touch spent fuel, just bury it. And that uh, I still claim that is an unsolvable problem because of the legalities connected with it.